What's up, sports fans? Are you ready for the worst trade we've ever seen? And that is where you say yes or no. So in my last video, I said they're thinking of trading that WNBA player Brittany Renner for a Russian bomb maker. Literally one of the worst trades in sports history. And first things first, I meant Brittany Griner, not Renner. And second, did you hear what I just said? The US wants to trade some dude nicknamed the Merchant of Death for a girl who can't even get past airport security. Pretty fair. And in Russia, of all places, I don't even drink, and I know you don't smoke weed in Russia. When a 12-year-old can take down a shot better than you can take down a McDonald's Sprite, I don't even think weed is their fifth favorite option. And it's not like she's being treated unfairly. She just happens to be someone that Russia can Google and actually see what her trade value is. And I'm telling you, y'all are asking for way too much. The trade they want is like if the Buccaneers traded Tom Brady for the right to draft Archie Manning when he graduates, or like if LeBron James was traded to Ohio State so they can get Greg Oden. And speaking of LeBron, can you actually believe she said, if this was LeBron, he'd be home, right? Yeah, because LeBron James would have never been stupid enough to try and get a cart past Russian airport security. And honestly, if we're comparing you to LeBron, society would actually benefit if he were to come back. You're only like inconveniencing your team and the US government. You know how many resources we're probably using trying to save your dumbass? There are people who are trained to deal with terrorism who have now been knocked down to deal with something that not even a normal cop would want to deal with. Imagine one day you're trying to find the next big terrorist organization that's going to be a problem to, hey, can you find out what's a good trade value for this Britney girl? Meanwhile, you don't know anything about sports, so this is how this trade came to be. On the other hand, can you imagine how happy the other guy is? He was arrested for transporting weapons to some of those evil people on Earth. And now, not even half into his sentence, he's already about to be free. And I can guarantee to you that we are not gonna let a black female celebrity if you will athletes stay in russia if they want like they're like we want that guy and the statue of liberty we would do it we're pussies we'd do anything not to fight and i'm not saying that's a bad thing but in some rare situations like this it ends up just being a lose-lose situation for us yeah we get britney back but probably at the cost of people we don't want having weapons getting weapons yeah we can take the crack out of your neighborhood but we're gonna leave these assault rifles right here in exchange like here's who the government needs to put on that phone all right with russia to make this trade go down the guy who made the Jared Goff and Matthew Stafford trade happen, the guy who got Randy Moss to the Patriots for a fourth round pick, and then the guy who said yes to the Hornets when they offered Kobe Bryant to the Lakers. If we get them on the phone, we'd for sure come out with Brittany and at least like half of Russia, and all we'd have to give up is Florida, which we'll tell them is California, and Idaho, which we'll tell them is Florida. But we as a society cannot let these uneven trades keep going down, and three years when World War III breaks out, we're gonna wish we had the Merchant of Death still locked up. Literally, Russian people are always connected. There are probably still people who work for this guy who just think he took an extended vacation and just have all this shit ready to go. But until then, I suggest you get those people who I mentioned in the Oval Office or wherever you got this thing going down so we can actually get a trait that we can benefit from. If not now, maybe in the future. Like how about we never let that dumb idiot come into your country again and you can keep the cart for yourself, Putin, on me, and then we just leave each other alone. Yeah guys, see you next week. Peace.